Hello Taurus, this is going to be a special love reading. It'll be a general reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It will not resonate with everyone watching. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Check out your other placements, your Sun, nope, your Moon, your Rising, and your Venus. And those sometimes can resonate more than your Sun sign. So let's get into it Taurus. Spirit for Taurus, please. For Taurus, please. This is the energy oracle cards. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. For Taurus, please, spirit. Oh, we got deceit. What's this? Victory. Interesting. So whatever deception you deal with, I feel like you're going to overcome. You'll have success. Victory here recognition oh the sun and a new beginning love it taurus okay let's get into the tarot this is the revelations tarot and i really love this deck especially if you're a fan of reversals because it has Artwork for the upright and artwork for the reversals. So like for justice, you have artwork upright and artwork reversed. So it's really, really fun. All right, so let's get into it for Taurus spirit. So today's spread will be a little bit different. I'm gonna pull eight cards and then I'll pull another round of clarifying cards for each of the cards I set down. Okay, for Taurus, please, in regards to love. Ooh, okay, we got, okay. Ace of Pentacles. I'm only gonna take one. Ace of Pentacles reversed. So this is an opportunity that didn't take off here. A commitment that was taken back or it could be financial difficulties we'll see with the second set of cards tell me more for Taurus okay we got the Empress manifestation creativity love growth the Empress knows her worth Taurus Libra energy there, so this could be you. We want one. Judgment, beautiful. Making a judgment call, having a wake up call, having a rebirth. I love that it's right under the, the sun, which is all about new beginnings in this deck. Four of Pentacles. Okay. What else? Six of Wands reversed. So something here did not work out with this Ace of Pentacles. It was not successful. Knight of Cups. Someone could be offering uh, love or an apology to this Empress. Or this Empress could be doing this. We'll see. Interesting. For Taurus. King of Swords. King of Swords is making a judgment call and they're not even thinking of emotions when doing it. We'll see what else we get. Strength reversed. Lack of confidence, unable to control your emotions about a situation. 
feeling weak. Bottom of the deck, two of cups reverse. Interesting. So what I see here so far is some sort of opportunity or something to do with finances, something to do with uh, commitment possibly as well. Did not work, was not successful. However, this Empress, they can manifest new things. They can have, this Empress can make this new beginning happen easily because they know their worth. This Empress could be offering an apology to someone or an expression of love or vice versa. And I feel like this Empress is exhibiting King of Swords energy here where they are going to be making a judgment call. They're having an epiphany about something and they are dealing with it directly. This King of Swords they are very intelligent very rational and logical they are they always research things and look into things deep like deeper and they can make wise decisions because of their intelligence this decision is going to be big i can't wait to see what cards come up for these two and then we have here strength reversed leo energy and Four of Pentacles. So, so someone here is either holding back or holding on to something they value, protecting themselves, saving their money, being frugal, uh, because maybe they're at a weak point or don't have the confidence to do something. So let's see. Now with the Two of Cups reverse, this is definitely um, a rift in a partnership or a breakup here that could have happened or could be happening. All right, Spirit, give me some clarifiers. Now, for the clarifiers, I'm just going to pick up, um, or how do I say this? I'm going to shuffle until it feels right, <laughs> and then I'm just going to start picking the cards from there. I'm not going to keep shuffling. All right, Spirit, please give me some clarifiers for Taurus regarding this thread. Show me the messages I need to see, please. For Taurus. For Taurus. Okay, feels good. For this Ace of Pentacles reverse, we got the Four of Swords. So somebody here is healing, resting, thinking about what happened here. Actually, this is gonna go over here, this side. Someone is really um, needing to heal from what didn't work out. for whatever opportunity here was was difficult or missed or whatever financial difficulties they're having. Now for the Empress, we have the Seven of Swords. This is that Deceit card. It even looks similar. Someone is lying to this Empress or being deceptive regarding this Empress. Avoiding the Empress or um, sneaking off on this Empress here. Three of Cups reversed. So this could be a third party situation, Taurus. And I feel like you're gonna make a decision about that or a judgment call about that. King of Pentacles with this Four of Pentacles. This is what you're looking for. You're looking for stability financial security feeling grounded and and it's like you're 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 holding on to your money because you are very worried about money maybe if this was in regards to money that's why or you are worried about or wanting to be in a commitment with someone stable this could be you with this king of pentacles Okay, what happened with the six of wands tempers reverse yeah something was not able to come together in harmony sagittarius energy this was very disappointing for you queen of wands reversed 
We have two kings, an empress, and a queen of wands reverse. Queen of wands reverse, not, not a good person to be dealing with. There's some sort of deception about a queen of wands reversed, more, most likely. Someone could be apologizing for this with the knight of cups. Two of pentacles. So this king of swords is debating what to do, weighing the pros and cons about whatever they found out here with this three of cups reversed. Nine of Pentacles reversed. So I feel like you don't have the confidence or you're feeling weak because you're still attached to something. Let's see what's at the bottom here. Knight of Swords reversed. Knight of Swords reversed. With the Two of Cups reversed. So deception was something that hurt this connection or will hurt it this is this is complicated this king of pentacles wants victory wants a new beginning a new start but they're not free they're not completely independent they're attached to something or someone. This could be you or, you know, this whole spread could be for the person that you are going to meet or the person that you're thinking about. So keep that in mind. I have two kings here and a queen. I also have an empress. So this could be the third party energy or it could be that these two kings are exhibiting the same energies or the same person. This king of swords doesn't play. I've already said that. And this has to do with a judgment call about a third party situation. Someone's weighing the pros and cons to make a decision. And I feel like whatever decision they make, it's not going to be a decision that fixes things overnight because I still have a strength reverse down here with the nine of pentacles reversed. So it's like, there's still gonna be some sort of attachment or dependence on something or someone. I can't believe that someone did this to an empress. They tend to be a mother or a, a nurturing type of person. Um, but this empress, like I said, they know their worth. This empress is not taking this crap here with this seven of swords. They're not gonna do it. And so now they've become a king of swords. You know what I mean? And I think this th third party energy has to do with this queen of wands reverse because this queen of wands reverse tends to be in the middle of mess. They're attention hogs. They crave attention. They do things for attention. They have short tempers. They're very um, self-centered. They tend to, to, to use their attraction or their, their looks, their charisma to get what they want and they don't care about the consequences. So it would not surprise me if this Queen of Wands is involved in this Three of Cups reverse, in this third party energy here. I feel like whatever happened here with this Ace of Pentacles reverse, this could be a broken commitment. It could be financial disaster. Um, it could be an opportunity that never took off. Someone's healing from that with the Four of Swords. This could be you. Healing from what didn't work out, what wasn't successful. Recognizing that this wasn't this had no future. So this to me is a very clear cut reading. I feel like with this judgment card and the three of cups reversed, someone has had an epiphany or a realization 
about what they need to do with this third party energy. Someone wants a rebirth. A re someone wants a new beginning for themselves. And I think it's this King of Pentacles, King of Swords. I feel like they're planning, holding on to their money, holding on to their resources, thinking of how they can protect themselves. I feel like money is, is a factor in this reading. This Seven of Swords, I'm going to look at the extended at what this might be, because I'm going to clarify in the extended every single set of cards. But um, this Seven of Swords could be anything. However, I think it has to do with this Queen of Wands. And I feel like someone might be apologizing for this with the Knight of Cups. And this Seven of Swords, I'm just picking up, they thought they could get away with it. They thought they weren't going to be found out, that this wouldn't be an issue, that you weren't going to do anything about it. Not really. You might have been upset. You might have, there might have been a fight. But this side of Seven of Swords energy never thought that you would take it this far. You know, surprise. I'm not going to do that. Taurus, I feel like in the last couple of readings that I've done for you, you've really come to recognize your worth, your value. You're not putting up with any, any more crap, like you're done. And you've been done for a while. It's almost like the last six months of this year are gonna be you wrapping up loose ends and heading towards your victory and your new beginning. And this person here that's deceiving you or whatever whatever's deception is taking place with a third party interference, which by the way, a third party interference can be this Queen of Wands reverse, another partner, or it could be anything that's interfering in a connection. This could be a mother or a friend or a coworker or someone in your life that is drama centric. You know, it does not have to be an, a, a love partner. You know what I mean? Anyway, whatever this deception is, it's not going to get in the way of your new beginning. It's just going to take some time to wrap things up, save money, you know, detach yourself completely, make a decision. A decision needs to be made. And I think it has to do with the dependence that this or the, the lack of freedom or the, the feeling like you're not, you know, it's almost like you've lost confidence. Maybe, maybe towards the end of this, you start doubting yourself towards the end of the year. Maybe you didn't make the right choice or maybe you, you weren't thinking about this or that. And so I think you're going to start doubting yourself, but victory is within reach. The last six months of this year, victory is within reach. It's going to take work. Leon, please ignore my dog. It's going to take work. It's going to take a decision. And a judgment call. Something needs, you need to do something about this. And I think deep down, I think you know already. Like, I just feel like this isn't even a surprise. This deceit, this deception, this Ace of Pentacles reverse, like, it's not even a surprise to you, Taurus. And someone, you know, I'm sorry, but whoever chose a queen of wands reverse over an empress who would even want to be with that person anyway total like that is just someone that's not even thinking straight the queen of wands reverse sure they're fun they might be very sexy but there's no there's no substance there there's no nothing like an empress nothing like the empress empress is the queen of queens okay there's no way 
that they this would even be a competition you know and i'm hoping that that's how you're looking at this taurus whether you're male or female you are way above this queen of wands reverse like there's not even it's not even a competition So I really hope that when the time comes, you're ready to cut things out that need to be cut out. You're ready to rebuild for yourself. Because victory is within reach, like I said. And no amount of deceit, no amount of people getting in your way, no amount of inter interferences are going to get in the way of your victory. And I hope you believe that. All right, Taurus, thank you again to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and commented. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everyone who has taken the time to leave me such sweet comments. It does not go unnoticed. I can't respond to them all, but I do read them all. So thank you. And hopefully I'll see you all in another video. Take care.